A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter forty-nine, verses eight to fifteen. On the day of salvation, I will help you. Thus says the Lord: At the favorable time, I will answer you. On the day of salvation, I will help you. I have formed you and have appointed you as covenant of the people. I will restore the land and assign you the estates that lie waste. I will say to the prisoners, "Come out," and those who are in darkness, "Show yourselves." On every roadway they will graze, and each bare height. shall be their pasture they will never hunger or thirst scorching wind and sun shall never plague them for he who pities them will lead them and guide them to springs of water i will make a highway of all the mountains and the high roads shall be banked up some are on their way from afar others from the north and the west others from the land of shinim shout for joy you heavens exalt your earth you mountains break into happy cries for the lord consoles his people and takes pity on those who are afflicted For Zion was saying The Lord has abandoned me the Lord has forgotten me Does a woman forget her baby at the breast or fail to cherish the son of her womb Yet even if these forget I will never forget you The word of the Lord Thanks be, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good it is. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. Response The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises all who are bowed down. Response The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him, who call on him from their hearts. Response The Lord is kind and full of compassion. Gospel acclamation. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son everyone who believes in him has eternal life glory and praise to you o christ the lord be with you and, and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o lord Chapter five, verses seventeen to thirty. Jesus said to the Jews, "My Father goes on working, and so do I." But that only made them even more intent on killing him, because, not content with breaking the Sabbath. He spoke of God as his own father and so made himself God's equal. 
To this accusation, Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, the Son can do nothing by himself. He can do only what he sees the Father doing. And whatever the Father does, the Son does too. For the Father loves the Son and shows him everything he does himself. And he will show him even greater things than these. Works that will astonish you. Thus, as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so the Son gives life to anyone who chooses. For the Father judges no one. He has entrusted all the judgment to the Son so that all may honor the Son, as they honor the Father. Whoever refuses honor to the Son, refuses honor to the Father who sent him. I tell you most solemnly, whoever listens to my words and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life. Without being brought to judgment, he has passed from death to life. I tell you most solemnly, the hour will come, in fact it is here already, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and all who hear it will live. For the Father, who is the source of life, has made the Son the source of life. And because he is the Son of Man, has appointed him supreme judge. Do not be surprised at this, for the hour is coming when the dead will leave their graves at the sound of his voice. Those who did good will rise again to life, and those who did evil to condemnation. I can do nothing by myself. I can only judge as I am told to judge, and my judging is just because my aim is to do not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, for the Jews feel that this man Jesus who calls himself the Son of God makes himself equal to God. This man Jesus who heals, who casts devils or demons or evil, he calls himself the Son of the Father that everything what the Father does, He does. He is working because the Father is working. And He does the business, the work of the Father. Just as the Father is working, so am I working in the world. Healing, casting out devils, showing mercy, compassion to the needy. So my dear friends, you and me have a big lesson to learn. We have a purpose. Just as the Father and Son are linked, and Jesus gives this link to people, that I and the Father are one, and I am sent by my Father to do the mission, what He wills, and I do His will. There is a big link between the Father and the Son. All that He does, He does through the Father, because of the Father, with the help of the Father. 
through him with him and in him so my dear friends you and me as christians we are invited to be like him and to partake in his mission not to do what we will and what we want but to do what god wills and what god commands and that is how we will become partakers in the mission of christ and the mission of the father amen